back attacked. Ow. Tifa's got limit break already. Position swap, everybody. Positions, everyone. Wah, 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 wah. So we're now finally almost getting to my first grinding spot of the game. Which means I'll probably be doing a lot of grinding when we finally get there. Come on, Cloud. Stop sleeping on the job. There's one for Barrett. <sighs> okay, seriously, somebody wake up, Cloud. God. Man, Cloud, why you gotta sleep so so much? Somersault game, Tifa gained her second limit break. Yay! Now you can go up, but I don't. But if I remember right, there's no purpose to doing so. I'll go check right now. Where are you going? Everyone's waiting in the 6 6th floor elevator. Yeah. Yeah, you can't go up any further. Although there is a save point there. Eh, guess that means we'll come back later. Sixty-sixth floor. Elevator. Standing off in the darkness beyond the edge of the map. Oh. There's a boss battle? Would you press up, please? Turks must be a trap. It is not a boss battle. This must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. So, we were caught. I love how Red 13 isn't even tied up. Like, how are they keeping him prisoner? They got you too? Where is Aerith? In a safe place. She's the last surviving ancient. So naturally, we wouldn't want to hurt her. Don't you know? They called themselves the Cetra and lived thousands of years ago. Now they're just a forgotten page in history. Totally not moving as I say this. Cetra, that that girl is a survivor of the Cetra. Cetra or the ancients will show us the way to the promised land. I'm expecting a lot out of her. The promised land is not just a legend. Even so, it's far too appealing not to pursue. It's been said the promised land is very fertile. If the land is first hile, then there's gotta be Mako! Exactly. That is why our money-making Mako reactor is necessary. 
the abundant Mako will flow out on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built. Shinra's new glory. Spit! Shit! Quit dreaming! Oh really? Don't you know? These days, all it takes for your dreams to come true is money and power. Well, that is all for our meeting. That last line totally wasn't a comment on modern society or anything. Come on, out of his way. Hold it, I got a lot to say to you. You motherfucker! Just hear Barrett screaming off in the distance. If there's anything else, talk to my secretary. Wow. King, uh, Captain Asshole reporting in. So you have control here. You can do so much. I wonder how Red 13 is doing. Grandpa. Grandpa? Ha 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 ha. Grandpa. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. <laughs> Psst, can we get out? Leave it to me. Psst, Cloud, you're so brave. I wonder how Aerith is doing. Oh, wait. Aerith is here. Cloud, are you there? Aerith, you safe? Yeah, I'm alright. I knew that Cloud would come for me. Hey, I'm your bodyguard, right? The deal was for one date, right? Ahem! Oh, I get it. Tifa? Tifa, you're there too? I'm right here, bitch. Excuse me, princess. You know, Aerith, I have a question. What? Why are you laying so thick on my butt? No. Does the promised land really exist? I don't know. All I know is the Setra were born from the planet. Speak with the planet and unlock the planet. And then the Setra will return to the promised land. A land that promises supreme happiness. What does that mean? More than words, I don't know. Speak with the planet? Just what does the planet say? Honestly, it sounds like religion to me. Promised land being heaven. It's full of people and noisy, that's why I can't make out what they're saying. You hear it now? I... I only heard it at the church in the slums. Mother said that Midgar was no longer safe. That is, my real mother. Someday I'll get out of Midgar, speak with the planet, and find my promised land. That's what Mom said. I thought I would stop hearing her voice as I grew up, but... That's sad. Can we get out? Leave it to me. You can repeat that in any, an infinite number of times. I wonder how Barrett is doing. Hey! Aerith is an ancient, and the real name of the ancients is Setra. The ancients know where the promised land is, and the Shinra is searching for that promised land. I only heard stories about the promised land. I don't know if it really exists. Is that right? <laughs> Casually scratch ear. The Shinra believe the promised land is full of Mako energy. Which means, if the shit would get there, they'll suck up all the Mako energy. And the land will wither away. The plant's gonna get weaker. I can't just leave them be. I'm recruiting new members. Me, Tifa, Cloud, and Aerith, too. How about you? Just completely fucking ignore him. Fuck you, Barrett. I don't give no shits. You're so damn boring. Let's just get some sleep.
there's kind of nothing else you can really do at this point, honestly. Let's just sit down and get a full restore! Right, they so consider it, they give you a full restore when you sleep in their prison. Just like it in. Hey, wait, the door's open. When did it open? What's happened? Run back, talk to Tifa. Tifa, wake up! What's wrong? What, what is it? Something's wrong. Look outside. I wonder what happened. You should have the key on him. Come on, Tifa, get Aerith. I'll go help Barrett and the others. <laughs> Red 13 is the others. Barrett, Red 13, come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why is the door open? Because I fucking opened it. Because I have the key. The hell's going on? No human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. I'll clean up back here, so you guys go ahead. Don't get caught by Shiver. Come on, let's follow Red 13. Random encounters again. So now my party is Cloud and the girl, basically. <laughs> ah, that's an annoying ability. This is the part of the game where everything starts actually doing damage. Did it get away? Genova? Genova specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. Don't even bother checking the dead guy on the ground, because I don't care. He can go dead himself. Let's just follow this trail of blood. It looks like it leads up. Because that's super promising, right? Always follow the trail of blood. Y'all damn right it leads up. Tiva's limit breaks form a combo with each new limit break just simply being added on the chain at the end. And each progressive one doing more damage than the last. With the first limit break basically being an auto attack. And if you get the yeah, then it becomes a crit. And then the second one's like 10% stronger, and the third one's like 40% stronger, and so on. Up until the last one does like three times as much damage as a normal attack. On top of all the other hits in the combo. I'm gonna save here. Keep following the trail of blood, trail of blood, trail of blood. Dramatic music. Oh, shit. He's dead. The head of Shinra is dead. Damn. Then the sword must be Sephiroth. Sephiroth is alive? Looks like it. Only Sephiroth could use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of the Shinra. Ah. P -p 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 Please, don't kill me. What happened? Sephiroth, Sephiroth came. Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him with my own eyes. You really saw him. Ah, would I lie at a time like this? I heard his voice, too. 
Um, he said something about not letting us have the promised land. Then does that mean the promised land really ex does exist and the Sephiroth's here to save it from the Shinra? So he's a good guy then. Save the promised land? A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Shake free, run away. Rufus, I fucking forgot about him. Who's that? Vice President Rufus, the President's son. Run outside and everyone else follows, but not until you leave the room. Suddenly everyone's behind me. So, Sephiroth was actually here. By the way, just who are you? I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, first class. Of Mavalanche! Me too! A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, president of Shinra. That what a crew bit is probably my favorite moment in the whole... I just love that. You're only present because your old man died. Correct. I'll let you hear my inauguration speech. Father tried to control the world with money, and that worked for him. The people believed that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If terrorists attack, the Shinra army will help you. It looked perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It's too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste good money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get Aerith out of the building. What? I'll explain later. Barrett, this is the real crisis for the planet. The hell's that supposed to mean? Fabulous pose. I'll explain later. Just take my word for now. I'll go after I take care of it. All right, Cloud. Everyone runs. Everybody run. Cloud, I just thought of something. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. And now we go through a boss fight gauntlet of sorts. Hmm, it's going to be pretty ugly on here from from here on out. From here on, we should check our equipment. Cloud deepest material removed because they have all the cures. Everybody's got a good setup. Um, I'll give Aerith a cure all. I'll give Barrett lightning elemental on his weapon. You want to put, because you have to have Barrett, he's your only ranged party member. So you have to put, well, it's nice if you put, um, a lightning effect on him, on his attacks, or some such, because lightning is extremely powerful against the boss that he, no, this party will be fighting. Um, poison is even worth putting on anybody. Oh, I should give him cover. There we go. Steel isn't even usable. Fire ice. Unequip ice and give it to him. Because poison does nothing to this boss. Oh no, I have three cures. Okay. There we go. 
and reorganize because I have OCD. There we go. I'm just gonna run away from these battles because I want to have as much health as I can when I get to the boss. Please miss. Please miss. Damn it. If you come down, go to the elevator. And in we go. Yeah, that's right. You get to battle these. You click the button on the elevator. Tick a 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 tick Now you just want to hammer on him in every kind of ranged ability you have. Because you can't use melee attacks on him, because he's kind of across a gap. And he's a machine, so obviously he's vulnerable to electricity. Which is why you want to put uh, the elemental lightning on Barrett, because he can use. Um... Oh, I've got the using Red 13 Blue Break for the third time. Wow, that was a crappy game. Anyway, you put Elemental in somebody's weapon and combine it with uh, a, a, a materia that for a uh, Elemental spell, and the weapon will the weapon will deal damage of the element of whatever materia the Elemental is paired with. So basically, you can put Elemental combined with lightning in somebody's weapon and their, their basic attacks will do lightning damage. And the brakes as well, actually. So you put it on Barret, the only person capable of using basic attacks on this fight, and boom, he's doing like major bonus damage with his basic attacks. You just, you want to make sure that at least everybody has a, has at least one damage spell that they can use. Because otherwise you have that one character that just sits there and does nothing for the entire battle. And obviously you don't want that. Because then it's like, why are they even there? It's like having a mule character. Like, I'm just gonna sit here and carry items until they get experience. Why would you want that when you can have somebody who actually helps? But yeah, just keep hammering on him until he dies. And then, oh, he's charging a super move, his sensor cannon. It's not really too powerful, it's like 100 damage to everybody. Obviously, it's not something you want to mess with at this level. But it's not like super terrifying or anything, it's not super powerful. It's an abnormally strong move. Like a five turn charge. That. Yeah, that he didn't even do that. That was bad. Anyway, once you kill that one, another thing drops down on the elevator. Friggin' spinner drone. Which is also a machine and also weak to electricity. And if you use a poison. So you still don't want to use poison. <sighs> the fight's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. Which, let's face it, by now you should know what you're doing.
No, what the hell? I'm not sure what, but something just put Barrett to sleep. That was strange. Oh, what? AV cannons putting people to sleep? How? Barrett thinks we just woke up. Really weird. He's shooting people to flee. Also, I come to think of it, how does everything around this area having sleep? Like it didn't used to. Last time I played the game, there's nothing around here put anybody to sleep. Well, no, that's not true. The soldiers would, but that was it. Hurry up and die. Thank you. Alright. That's battle one of two. Oh, Barrett got his second limit break. That's nice. Removed everyone's limit, everyone's materia and equipped. Now this is where I didn't remove the clips on the materia. Oh, because I was gonna, about to say this is where the four slot materia becomes very helpful because you can put it on cloud and you can have eight materia equipped. But I could put it on Aerith for that last battle. Um, you don't need to worry about all for the battle because it's one on one basically. Although he does have a minion, but it's not a very significant one. Put elemental poison in my armor so Cloud has a poison in it. I think the, the one enemy uses it. Cover serves absolutely no purpose in this battle. He has nothing to steal. Doesn't have any enemy skill for you to learn. Sense is kind of just a useless material all around. Well, assuming you already know what you're, how to counter what you're up against, which I do. Alright. 